today I got my a haircut. <laughs> I got HUD bash, hey. and now I'm getting all my legal situations satisfied and taken care of all in one swoop. I would never only have to go to like four different, five different places, but you know they came to one college, and I'm, I made it. I'm glad to you know be able to do that. And I'm uh, back with you. I'm actually with uh, Glendale's finest uh, uh, officer of her courts, uh, Judge Finn. And she's been incredibly instrumental in helping uh, this whole process. And, and I'm just basically going to kind of turn it over to you. And if you would explain to the viewers uh, everything that's been going on. I know there's an awful lot going on, but everything that's been going on and all the participants. Well, thank you, Mayor Wires. Um, well, this started off with a, a meeting of um, myself and Con Mickle, our special projects coordinator for Glendale City Court, and Rudy Apodaca, who's our courtroom ops supervisor, attending a meeting. And initially it was just Glendale City Court. Well, we realized very quickly that's not really sufficient. Um, so what we've ended up with is I'm now representing 12 separate city courts. Uh, Tempe Municipal Court is on site. Um, we were able to secure the attendance of 25 of the 26 justice courts from Maricopa County. We have homeless court here, so for those individuals who are in courts that are not represented here today, uh, we have someone from that court who's taking the information to be able to forward it on to other courts, and then obviously we have the motor vehicle department. Um, they've been very supportive through the years. Thank goodness we have a lot of contacts with them, and they're here on site being able to run records, etc. We have the Maricopa County Public Defender's Office on site, so they've been able to give legal advice on criminal matters to individuals. Um, we have our city prosecutor and one of our public defenders here to be able to handle Glendale cases. Um, so we're really trying to provide the maximum information for people who have issues with the law. Can we resolve everything? No. Um, but we are giving court dates to people, future court dates, and at least for the 12 courts I'm representing in terms, in addition to Glendale, uh, all warrants from those individuals will be quashed by 5 p.m. on Monday. So those people know they will not have a warrant for their arrest. For Glendale, I have somebody at the court. The warrants are being quashed today as I see them. And, and Judge, with that, with that being quashed, basically that gives a lot of these veterans an opportunity that they didn't have because uh, now they can get their licenses reinstated. They can actually go and apply for work uh, because now they haven't got any problems. Uh, well, huge. I well, it doesn't really mean that everything's resolved. I mean, they still need to come back to court and take care of their cases. But we are quashing warrants um, for individuals by 5 p.m. on Monday. And for example, with Glendale, warrants are being quashed today um, while they're at the event. And then in terms of community service, community service has been coordinated here at the event. And a number of courts have agreed to give credit um, of the fines for the community services performed here at the event. I see. I was told early on this morning that you had lines uh, not only inside but clear out the door. Yeah, we definitely got hit right off the bat, and um, but everything worked out fine. I mean, pe some people did have to wait a little bit, but obviously this is a very important piece of helping people get their lives back together, um, clearing up the money that they owe to courts, um, outstanding warrants. Uh, knowing from motor vehicle department what it is that's causing their license to be suspended, I mean, that's huge. A lot of employers won't hire you if you don't have a valid license. So. Well, and it's great, I, and I appreciate everything that you've done and, and all the people that you brought uh, in, in, in here. Uh, you know, and a lot of that happens uh, not just because of your position, but because of your contacts and your knowledge. And so I can't thank you enough for everything that you've done, and I, and I sincerely mean that. Uh, you know, all of us today uh, are trying to make a difference in veterans' lives, give them an opportunity to get their life straightened out. Some of them are very simple, some of them are very difficult, but, uh, uh, you know, with all the volunteers here today and all the people that showed up, I, I know everybody wants to make a difference, and, and I know that we certainly have done that, and I know you've helped make that happen uh, immensely. So thank you so much. No, thank you. There's a lot of second steps that I don't have to go through because I'm getting it all done in one. Less transportation, you know. Less time out in the heat, you know. Like I said, MVD, ADOT here, everybody, they've been great. I've been totally helped. I got all my court paperwork solved. You know, from warrants to speeding tickets, it works. The system works.